measure of the amount of energy of the Earth's plate. Each step of the Richter scale shows a difference of 20 to 30 times more energy being released. Okay, now let's put this together. This was 7.1 on the Richter scale. What was right. the Alaska quake we saw earlier? That was 9.2. Ah, so that's a two-point difference on the Richter scale. How much energy difference was there? Well, if we count it all out, it could be up to as much as 1,000 times more energy released during the Alaskan quake than the Loma Prieta ah, quake. Potential for a lot more damage. Well, not necessarily, David. Let me give you an example. In an earthquake in 1993 in India, the Richter scale reading was 6.4, Loma Prieta was 7.1, but the death toll in India was 100 times greater than the Loma Prieta earthquake. Before the Richter scale came into use, the only way we could measure an earthquake was to observe the effects. The measurement scale used was called the Mercalli scale. The Mercalli scale ranges from an intensity of 1, where damage is negligible, to an intensity of 12, which equals total destruction. I asked Derek about the reasons why some earthquakes are so destructive. Tell me a little bit more about the comparison between the India quake and the California quake. Why was there more destruction or death in India? Well, there are three factors that go into that, David. First of all, the buildings probably weren't very earthquake resistant. Number two, they probably were not built on very earthquake resistant soil. Okay. And the third factor in that is that they might have been close to the fault zone or close to the epicenter Which of the sometimes quake. sometimes we wouldn't even know, would we? Not until after it occurs. Okay, how about predicting an earthquake? Is it possible to do that? That would obviously save a lot of the casualties. That's right, and scientists are working on methods to try to predict earthquakes, but by far the best thing to do, David, is build more resistant buildings, Put them in the right places, away from the fault zone, and on solid foundations. All right. And that would help a lot. Design in advance and be prepared. That's right. All right. Derek, thanks so much for cluing us in on the earthquakes. Oh, nice to be here, Dave. We'll have more in just a minute. Remember, our show depends on your questions. Write to us at Newton's Apple, 1-7.